I the answer for telling my daughter the real reason I don't allow her to refer to me as mom? While I'm unfamiliar with this app, my partner is far more active, so I've come to know this category. In recent events, perhaps two weeks ago, while touring across the country, I was stuck driving for eight hours and I was exhausted. However, my daughter, 15, popped the question as to why I don't allow her and her brother to address me as mom, like most would. Usually in this situation, not the first time she asked, I used the excuse of how it would be easier for her to find me if she ever got lost in the crowd, and I would be able to find her easier, but this time she continued to push for the real reason as she is now grown. This was the same reason as why I spit the real truth to her. For context, I have never wanted children. Being in my early 40s when I had her and her younger brother was a choice of my partner as I gave in and complied to the idea. I never held a deep affection for them at first, but as they grow, I realized how much I truly loved them. Continuing on, I told my daughter that I never wished to be a mother and I'd much rather not be tied down to a lifestyle of it and I didn't think much of this as I was tired and I just wanted to arrive at our destination. I can't exactly recall the reaction she had. She only replied along the lines of, that's the real reason? I didn't believe that I might have been in the wrong for telling her when she was the one who pushed for the reason. However, she later broke down after her dad joked about how he would be fine to allow her to call him dad. He was drinking that night. I admit, I did discuss why I wanted him and I to be referred to by our names rather than the titles of mom, etc. Before the birth of my daughter, he was reluctant but allowed it. And my daughter came out saying how I have burdened her with my words and how she second guesses her position as my daughter. She began to spiral and overreact, asking why I would tell her that, if I love her, etc. Then began to say how she wants the intimacy of calling me mom and how she does not feel close to me. We have never had a problem of how she calls me by my name, and I thought she would be only asking simply due to the curiosity of a growing person. She has yet to calm down and is still fairly tempered with me. It's been a few days and there remains a lot of tension, while her father does not remember the events that took place being drunk, so I come here for judgment. I love my children, and I make an effort to make sure it's clear to them. Am I the asshole? Okay, we're back to the familiar space of <laughs> am I the asshole? Yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, do you want to go first on this one? Well, I, I picked the story, so I want to hear your thoughts. Okay. Um, oh, man. I think um, I, I can't see why she doesn't allow it anymore. Like, I think she might be the asshole on this one because um, she said that, like, at first she didn't have any intimacy towards her own children, right? Mm -hmm. But then as she, as, she, as she saw them grow up, she started realizing that she loves them and she, and she you know, she cares about them. So why now that she has had this turn of um of events and and like um uh, now that she's getting more close to them why can't she allow them to call her mom anymore or call her mom in general you uh, know well I think like, she is the asshole yeah yeah and I don't know if you said the reason why you think she's the asshole so I'll say the reason why she I think she's the asshole okay because um she's acting like so dumb in my opinion well she wanted to hear the truth and i told the truth so she should yeah. prepare to hear the truth yeah but at the same time she's a 15 year old who like wants to feel close to her mom you know yeah and i feel like op is just like not paying attention to her daughter because she she's like i thought she was just asking out of curiosity yeah um if she's asked multiple times don't you think that there's a reason why if she says that she doesn't feel close to you don't you feel like there's a reason why yeah, yeah you admitted that you didn't really um feel close to them or or really had affection towards them yeah kids pick up on feelings like that yeah and it must suck for a kid n knowing that all your friends call their parents mom and dad you know and you have to call her like natasha or something <laughs> yeah, yeah you have to call them by their name like i don't know i i, I was obviously not in that situation and it yeah. doesn't sound like op was either i, I don't know yeah. but how can she not why can she not put herself in her daughter's shoes and think about how it would have felt if she couldn't call her mom mom yeah yeah um i don't know what's up with the mother i am not i don't get her i don't get her reasoning to any of this like I understand how she didn't want to call her mom at first. I mean, she didn't want the, her kids to call her mom at first. But I, after she started, like, liking them, whatever, or uh, having affection towards them, now I don't get her. Like, now she seems like an asshole. Because it's like, why are you still restricting them from, from calling your mom in I general? Think it's because she really never wanted to be a mom. But then and now but, she is a mom, right? And I think... 
But she said she loved them. Like, it's like a turn of heart or whatever, whatever, a flip of heart, whatever the thing is. Yeah, but it's kind of still forced. You know? Because it wasn't her initial. No, but like, you have to go up with it. Doesn't mean that that's what you still wanted. Yeah, I guess so. But you have to kind of grow up, you know? Like, you. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna like treat these kids as they're not your kids because you're saying that they can't call you mom, and then you're just gonna cause like unnecessary trauma I to feel them. Like she was just going through the motions, and now and now she's stuck in that motion. Like, what I'm saying is like people people can change, and clearly yeah, she did. I, I think but like, she's just why isn't she to to still not really wanting to be a mom? You know, like secretly down, she still like doesn't feel like she wants to be a mom. I, but I like she's trying some to people like are meant to not be parents you know it mm. really doesn't come to them and i think she might be one of those people that just really didn't want kids but she went through with it for her partner yeah um and is doing the best or yeah the best of it but still like sh- yeah. she's not fit to be a mom yeah i mean i think she should um uh, like just have a sit down with herself and really talk to herself to see like what she wants to do because you're either gonna like own up to it or you're gonna cause trauma to those kids. I think like, that's, re- yeah. like resentment. You're gonna make them resent you for, for not giving them everything that, that a mom should give to their children, you know? So like sit down and really think about what you're gonna do. You're either gonna be have to be okay with like the fact that like you're gonna give them some resentment and stuff and, and maybe like cause them to not want to be around you in the future. Or you're gonna like just woman up, mom up. That's so when you any anything put on the t shirt or something. Just mom up and um uh, and, and treat them like they're your actual kids because they are and, and you know, just switch yourself to be like a better person suited to be a mom. I think she should have done that before she decided to go and have kids because that too, like that's not fair. You that is, yeah. I don't see it as an e- either or, right? You're yeah. saying she either has to be okay with her kids maybe not wanting to hang out with her as grown-ups or she needs to mom up. Yeah. I think the only answer is to mom up. Like, you brought these kids into the world, then, like, fulfill your role as a yeah. mom. But I think she is kind of trying, but she just sees it as in, like, checking boxes, you know? Yeah. Hey, mom cooks dinner. I, check. I, I think um I think she's playing mom. Yeah. Like, she's she, it's, it's weird. Um, I, I think she's actually, like, a really weird individual because... And I, and I don't know if this is common, by the way, but like normally when you have to make a decision of like, like, like a bigger decision, sometimes we're like, fuck it, let's do it. Right. Like, like, are we going to get that car? Whatever. You know, like we thought about it way too much. Let's just do it. Yeah. Right. Like we, we kind of come down to like, we don't want to make an actual decision. So we're just going to just actually say yes so that we don't have to think about this anymore. Yeah. I feel like that's what she did with the kids. Yep. Like she didn't actually like think 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 to herself. All right, do I want to have kids? Do I want to have kids and actually make a decision, like an actual decision, because having kids is not just a fuck it, we'll do it. <laughs> you know, it's like um, all right, um, I think I I think I I'm okay with being a mom. I think I'm ready to to fulfill that role of a mom, whatever, yeah. right? And I feel like she didn't do that whatsoever. She she literally just went like, all right, if you want it, then I guess we're getting a, a new baby. It's not a puppy, dude, you know? Yeah. Like I think maybe the the decision was harder for her. It wasn't do I want to have kids or not? She knows she doesn't want to have kids. Yeah. I think the question was do I not have kids and my partner will resent me or do I not have kids and we get divorced or like separated? Yeah. Or do I just have kids? I think those were her options and she chose to have kids and I don't think that was fair for the kids. Yeah, it's not um, like yeah, the top comment here is being tired often results in saying stuff without thinking about it. So I get that. But let's look at this one. You think there's never been any problem and that she's asking out of curiosity? Did you ever consider that she's asked multiple times because she may be deeply anxious about it, insecure about it? Because friends and classmates have asked her why she didn't call you mom her entire life or assumed you weren't her mother and she had no answer to them? I can tell you right now that kids are cruel and that if she had no answer, some kid would have definitely said, Haha, your mom doesn't love you. This has probably been building up for a long time. Sit down with her. Have a good talk. Say that you're sorry and ask if it has impacted her. And if she says yes, don't blame her. Don't make excuses. Apologize for not saying it. Listen to her. Don't try to over explain unless she asks you to. Find out where this came from. If she gets loud, be calm and don't start any. Don't you raise your voice slash take that tone with me stuff parents love to do. If your child is suddenly inconsolable, there's a reason. You're the asshole, but you don't have to keep being one. If you truly love your children now, do right by her. 
Just know that this will be a defining moment for your family. How you handle this will matter. Don't downplay her feelings. They're absolutely understandable. What you said must be heart-wrenching to a child of 15 who doesn't quite get nuance yet. I'd be upset at 23. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good, that's really, really good. I, I like his um his suggestion there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was a perfect diagnosis. Yeah. <laughs> Overall rating on this was that, um, uh, dang, you put it really all the way down here. Overall vote was that. So I want you to cheat. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't even tempted. I didn't even know. Um, but yeah, overall vote was asshole, and um, yeah, yeah. I hope she does actually take it seriously though. I feel like she she hasn't been taking that any of that seriously like, the whole time. You know?